Hello Creative Ones, this is Robin Dudley House coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. I am going to be showing you this beautiful corset that I made. I didn't, it wasn't my idea, I wanted to uh, let you know it was from this gal, ElegantCreation.info. She um, has a, a downloadable pattern if you want to make one yourself. and. She has lots of different styles, and she has a YouTube channel, too, where she kind of shows you how to assemble it. Um, it's really not hard. Um, it's just a matter of how you decorate it, I think. And this is the style or the shape that I really uh, like. She has some other shapes, but this is the one that I'm going to be using today and show you. <clears throat> and um, I'll probably be using it for a... Um, to hold... A, a junk journal because it actually is a file folder that you turn into a um, like a pot like an envelope so I uh, just thought I would show you before I glue everything down kind of how I did mine I here's the templates that I had cut out and I had assembled the one, this is the one that she has on her site, and you can download this, and it, it has these really pretty roses on it. I wanted mine to be kind of a gypsy theme, so I went with this red and black theme, but I really like this one too. So this is the one that you can download. This is the back end, and then this is the front part. Actually, I think, oh. So what you do is you're going to take a, um, a, a file folder and right back and get one. And so you're going to take a file folder, just a regular manila file folder, so that it opens up like this. And you're going to place your template on the front. And I found that my um, the my file folders were a little bit short, so you may have to trim a little bit depending on what style you have. And then you cut it out and cut the shape out, and you'll wind up with um, something like this. I kind of I didn't glue any some of this stuff down because I wanted to show you but basically you can see that the back is this part here but when you cut it on a file folder you're going to get two pieces and I just uh, sewed the back here I'm probably going to either paint it or put some paper on it when I'm done and then the corset part itself is glued onto the front after you've made the tie in the front. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> so <clears throat> you take your template, glue it down to the file folder that you're going to be using, and then cut it out in the shape of the pattern that you have here so you'll have two and then you're going to cover the inside with some decorative paper like I did here and the template is this and it goes straight across so what I did was I cut it down like this and that's just a design decision that you can make on your own and like I said she has um, more of a little tutorial on how to put it together but it's not really difficult I, I, I thought so that I would just kind of walk you through what I did and then I'm not sure if I like this uh, paper I have behind there so I might be putting this gold doily instead also what I did was um, I'm going to undo this just to kind of show you. I had added 
I haven't glued everything down yet. I added, this is cardstock underneath. It's a kind of a reddish, a deep red color. And then I added, and or glued, I should say, um, lace on top. So this is just lace right here. It's not glued down all the way yet. So it's a little fiddly because you have to um, put the, uh, you're going to be punching holes in the corset and then um, lacing it up with uh, some ribbon. This is just a uh, hug snug rayon ribbon. Um, I had put eyelets in mine. You can do eyelets if you want to, or you can do what she did, which is she used brads. Um, and so I, I wanted to use eyelets to make it a, look a little bit more like an actual corset. And then again, because the template is straight across here and straight across here, I didn't like that look. So um, the one that I really liked is the one that I showed you the picture of. And um, let me see if I can find it. Well, I'll find it in a minute here. Oh, here it is. Um, I liked how it went down like this. It looks more like a, a real corset to me instead of just going straight across. So that's what I did and then um, it will it just looks more realistic and it'll be covered up with all the other laces that I'm going to be putting on here. So I don't know if this is the case with you guys but it takes me forever to make a composition. Um, and th this was no different. So I, I spent a ridiculous amount of hours just figuring out this layout right here. Um, and so what I did was, um, this. there's five different things on here. There's this bottom black lace, which is, I don't know why it's so hard to see dark colors in my camera, but it is. Um, so there's the bottom lace here, which is a, a just a really pretty, all of this is old, by the way, all of it, um, ruffled lace. And then this is a beaded trim. This is an old uh, metallic trim that I used to use when I made lamps years ago. And then this is also some uh, really pretty lace from France. I put it all on top of some other lace that's on there that you can't really see, but it's the shape of a leaf. It's a leaf pattern. And most of it I tacked down by hand. Um, because I thought if I glued it and I wanted to sew something on there, then I didn't want to mess that up. So, plus it gave me more time, to, more wiggle room. So that's the first thing I did. I figured out what colors I was going to use. I'm actually liking this up there. I might do that. Um, and then, uh, by the way, this is really cool paper. It's flocked, but it's made to look like velvet. Because I really did want to use velvet, but if you've ever sewn and you've sewn with some velvet, you know how difficult it is. It has a mind of its own. And uh, it looks like this. I bought it from Stamping Up when I was a Stamping Up demonstrator years ago. I don't even know if it still exists, but you might be able to find it. But it might be called velvet paper. So it's pliable like paper, but it's pretty sturdy. And... Um, uh, it comes in lots of different colors and it just, I've been hoarding it forever and I forgot that I had it. And so it's perfect for this uh, project, I think. Um, so I figured out what colors I was going to use and then I started dragging out all of my um, trims and putting them on here, seeing what I liked. And I finally came up with this um, ensemble here. So... I am going to just glue this down. This is already glued down here. And I'm going to be using the handy dandy fabric tack. And one trick um, when you're putting, when you're lacing up the corset, uh, don't pull it too tight because it bunches it up. It's pretty loose, but it's not so loose that it looks like it's, you know, unprofessional. <laughs> So I am going to just go ahead and get this baby done. I might, like I said, be using this to hold a, um, a journal that I'll be making for my design team project for the Graphics Fairy, uh, which is a gypsy theme. 
and I think I have to kind of use it because I'm running out of time. I just never seem to have enough time to do everything. I had two shows this uh, month, so that's probably a big reason why um, there are shows where everything I'm, is handmade, so I was pretty busy. And I had um, some dental work done, so that didn't help. That kind of knocked me down for a couple days. So I may speed this up, I'm not sure. I need to see all of this. So that's down. You can see I have uh, paper clips here to keep things in place until I figured out what I was going to do. And I'm going to put this here. I like how the fringe on the bottom kind of, you can see the fringe on the bottom here. So I'm going to make sure this is up enough. And actually I'm using the indentations here on the side to let me know where to put the final and I kind of like it pointed more in the center here. So it's all kind of about shape for me before I glue anything down. Always leery about gluing or making anything permanent until I know exactly how I want to place it all. So I think I will do my hot glue right there. Just because I want to make sure it really stays down, I'm going to make sure that's a nice point. And, uh, yeah, I just, when I saw this from um, this gal, I thought it was so cute. I have a thing for dress forms and vintage looking corsets and I just loved what she did. And so what a great way to um, house a junk journal <clears throat> I thought and what maybe you would like to see my thought process about putting this together. So I like the way that looks. I might just keep it like that. Um, when it's glued down, it give, it's more. There's more dimension, so it looks it looks like an actual corset. I love it. Okay, and then uh, I ruffled some trim, some black trim, to go on the top, and I made this little flower with the uh, wired ribbon. Um, I think you can get it at regular craft stores now. I, I just have uh, so much in my stash that I don't need to buy any. And then I added some leaves from a black uh, trim on here. And some uh, little yarns and sorry. I mean uh, rayon ribbon. I ruffled a some black uh, lace and then added an earring in there. So this will be an embellishment. Um, before I glue these things down, I'm going to be putting some trim on the edges to give it a nice border. And I put all kinds of things on here, wondering what I should do in it. And um, I love using this GIMP. I use it quite a bit in my um, designs. It, it moves really well and um, for this one I'm gonna I'm just gonna tack it with some hot glue right here 
and then glue the rest with um, the fabric tack. This way it'll just stay in place and then I can uh, have a little bit more leeway with just the glue. I should have glued this first um, now that I think of it so I could kind of tuck it under there but that's okay see how it just kind of outlines it makes it look a little more finished side. Um, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but um, if you want to get on my email list, I um, you'll be the first to know when I have specials going on and uh, for my online classes and any shows that I'll be doing. It's uh, The link is below. It's through my online school. There's no obligation for anything. You just will be the first to know about uh, anything that I might be doing or promotions I might be having. Um, and also at some point uh, before the end of December I am probably going to have some kind of little bit of a survey seeing if there's anybody out there that wants me to teach a class on how to have an online business. Um, and it will be geared towards artists or creative people I don't really think there's anything out there like it, um, or there isn't a lot of it. There's lots for people that are into yoga and self-help and coaching and uh, food, you know, diet and health, but there's really not a lot for creatives, and um, I'm thinking I might have a master class on that at some point, and I just wanted to see if there was an interest Okay, so that's on there. I also made these other little flowers. I don't know if you do this when you're making stuff. You just make a bunch of stuff and just kind of play around with it to see, to see what works. But this is just a little lace uh, flower that I made. This one I didn't make. It was from a uh, some lace or ribbon or something. And um, I kind of thought maybe somebody has... N this will be a good tip for you. If you have tool you know, T-U-L-L-E. Um, if you want to make it look tattered, um, I hope this is, oh my gosh, I hope this is working here. If you want to make it look tattered, you can um, cut it and then pull it with your fingers. Okay, um, I have that there. These are some other things I thought I might put on here. They're metal, really pretty metal pieces. So we'll see. And I think I'm liking this up here. It's going to be covered anyway because there's going to be a book in there, but um, I might, I might do that. And then I'm going to be gluing this down. I already tied this up. This one will look like this.
And I think I might do the same. Just glue this in the center so it stays. And then when you teach <laughs> and you have a video and you're looking at it within a seated position, it's hard to kind of see. Ooh, that was way too much. Now I'm going to use this glue that bubbles up and makes a mess. One of you had suggested that when you buy this fabric tack to just make a pin prick in it, which I'll try next time. I guess just the pressure from whatever is in there makes it boil up. I uh, I know I've told you this before in some other videos. I love Halloween, and my um, and Halloween's almost here. And uh, my neighborhood is a great neighborhood. Uh, a lot of people um, decorate their houses, and it's kind of known. So people drive in and bring their kids. And for several blocks, there's little kid, cute little kids with their costumes on walking around. And uh, of course, I have to dress up too. So we hand out candy for a little bit and then we go out and we don't go trick-or-treating. We just kind of walk around because I just love how festive it is. And um, let me know if you guys do the same thing. <laughs> I still like to dress up. And at some point I'm going to just decorate my whole studio just to look like Halloween. So that's on there. And then uh, I was going to put that there. But I'm not sure. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. And this was going to go down here originally. So um, that's all I'm going to show because uh, that's really all there is. And I'll give you the link for the little tutorial that uh, this gal has. Um, I can't remember her name. But like I said, it's Elegant Creation dot info. And she has a YouTube channel, and I think that's how I saw it. I must have, I must have seen it in my feed and flipped and saw it when I saw it. So um, it's very generous of her to give out her download. So show her some love and um, giving a shout out to her. And I hope you enjoyed that. I, you might see it again in my flip through for my design team project. Happy Halloween! Okay, one more thing I thought I would show you. I had um, an old net that um, was from a hat, I think. And it had these fun little velvet pieces on it. So I took them off and they're little bows and I might add those to the side um, to these sides and then in the center here and then there's little there's these little paisleys I didn't I don't know if there's enough of them but I might use those too to decorate so that's just some food for thought <laughs> and uh, we'll see how this goes I just have to kind of sit with it for an evening maybe I'll figure it out tomorrow but like I said you'll probably see it again when I do my design team project next week. So, happy Halloween.